Well, Northeast United FC will take on Mumbai City FC in what is expected to be another engrossing encounter today. Northeast United FC, of course, suffered a narrow defeat against ATK Mohan Bagan in the last match of the league by 2-3, whereas Mumbai City FC had their most embarrassing defeat of the series so far against Kerala Blasters by 0-3. Well, currently, Northeast United FC are trailing in the standings with a poor start at the ninth position, whereas Mumbai City FC is performing exceptionally well to stand first on the points table. And Northeast United FC and Mumbai City FC share the most gripping head to head record at the Super League. And of the 14 games that have been played between the two sides, Northeast United FC have won on five occasions, whereas Mumbai City FC have won on seven, as two matches ended in a draw. So indeed, viewers, the big story coming in from the Indian Super League at this point in time, Northeast United FC all set to take on Mumbai City FC in what is expected to be another gross, engrossing encounter today. Northeast United, of course, suffered a narrow defeat against ATK Mohan Bagan in the last match of the league by two three and on the other hand Mumbai City had their most embarrassing defeat of the series against Kerala Blasters by 0-3. Currently the Highlanders are trailing in the standings with a poor start at the ninth position whereas Mumbai City on the other hand is performing exceptionally to stand first on the points table. Northeast United and Mumbai City shared the most gripping head-to-head -head record at the Super League. Let me tell our viewers here, of the 14 games that have been played between the two sides, Northeast United have won on five occasions, whereas Mumbai have won on seven, and two matches have ended in a draw. Meanwhile, addressing a press conference ahead of the match, Northeast United head coach Khalid Jamil stated that even though Mumbai City FC are a strong side, it is not impossible to defeat them. And the Highlanders would be heading into the game looking to do exactly that. Jamil further hoped that luck would be on their side as the team has been plagued by multiple injuries to key players since the start of the season. We go into the game with a loss. And the game against Mumbai, even they come into this game on the back of a defeat. So, you know, how do you plan for them? Yeah, how we are going to prepare, it is very important. We have got enough time for recovery. Everybody is fresh. We are ready for this match. We have to fight. And uh, to get the positive, we, have, we must get the three points. Coach, my second question to you is, like in the last game, we saw that you played Mashur in the midfield rather than playing him in the defence. And he scored a goal as well. So, you know, can we see him in that position uh, in the upcoming matches as well? Because you know he's not a natural centre-back. Even we know that he's played as a midfield and as a forward in the I-League, but not as a centre-back. So, wh what, do you, what do you want to say about it? No, I'm talking about Mashur. He, he played good in centre-back. And last match, he also played as a stopper. He went in for set pieces and he scored. And he's was a type player. He can play in any position. Okay. So, coach, any uh, injury concerns going into tomorrow's game? Yeah, injury. Khasa will be missing. Khasa is injured. Pran will be back. And uh, the remaining player all available. Your game again. Mumbai City FC, uh, do you feel it's going to be a different game compared to, you know, what the other opponents had with it, how Mumbai City FC controlled the game and played the game? Yeah, they are a good team. They are top of the table, definitely. They are a good team. We should uh, think positive. And it is not impossible that we cannot beat them. We can beat them. We have to concentrate on uh, our game and believe in ourselves. And everybody must fight. We must play as a team, as a one unit. What do you feel is your strength so far this season? You know, what has been your strength you feel uh, this season? And everybody is trying hard. That is a good thing. Only we need a little good luck. And uh, we need only that uh, all the players must be available. Because we're looking to the matches we played till uh, this last match. In every game, we have a missing one, two player. So, uh, remaining everybody is fighting. That is a positive thing. Everybody is working hard. 
And meanwhile, the NUFC playing 11 is out, viewers. Here is the list. Patrick Stacey, Murname, Flotman, Ngaspe Palm, Tondongba Singh, Provat Lakra, Imran Khan, Hernan Daniel Santana Trujillo, Suher Vada Kipidika, Matthias Kuria, Deshaun Dwayne Brown, Senaj Singh, Mirshad Kotapunna, Pragyan Sundar Gogoi. And of course, you can view the Hero ISL match live on Star Sports Network, Disney Plus Hotstar and GeoTV. Action begins a sharp at 7.30pm Indian Standard Time.